greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the VertZine Netcast. VertZine is the netcast online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. And I want to welcome you once again. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the VertZine Netcast. Now, we have a blog that we uh, post information on concerning virtualization and cloud computing. And uh, if you go to that, that's V-I-R-T-Z-I-N-E dot com, vertzine dot com. And what we do is we post these things and then go back and do a video netcast like this to basically share from that blog the information that we've gleaned since the last netcast. So let's go back to the last or to the first announcement after the last netcast which was netcast number eight this is netcast number nine VMware announces V fabric V fabric well, what is a V fabric uh, it is their alternative to Microsoft's Azure now you notice Microsoft has been advertising Azure uh, even on regular television but particularly on tech podcasts and netcasts uh, there's a lot of sponsoring that's being done by Microsoft of these various tech technology oriented podcasts for Windows Azure and that is their cloud platform it's their cloud technology development arena if you will and that's what VMware is doing they, ha they have a competitive uh, version of that that they're calling V fabric uh, and basically it is middleware a suite of middleware services uh, with the Spring frame, Framework for Java Developers and it is called vFabric 5 and they have announced that availability and uh, they're going to continue to develop that out and it's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. Now the next item we have here is Dell's virtual infrastructure stack is being built out. Basically this is like a lot of other companies have been doing. They're increasing the um, width and depth of their virtualization and cloud computing technologies and Dell is no exception they're rounding out their virtualization offerings with this new acquisition uh, they have uh, basically made a deal with a company called Netuitive I believe I'm pronouncing that uh, it's a partnership where they are going to take the analytics software for managing virtual infrastructure and plug that into the um, virtualization stack that Dell is offering. So if you're a Dell customer, that's something you're going to have access to, and uh, they're building that out. Next item we want to look at is Obama's CIO, or what he, some people call his cloud chief, has resigned. Now, I posted this June the 17th when this was announced, so we're, we're a little further down the road now. But uh, his name is Vi Vivek Kundra, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he was hired in as the CIO, Chief Information Officer of the Obama Administration. And uh, his, what he was bringing to the fold there is uh, he was appointed because he was interested in cloud computing virtualization and wanted to bring that into government. Now I can tell you from what little contact I've had with governmental organizations, I used to work for county government at one time as webmaster, and uh, that whole infrastructure of government moves at a snail's pace. It is hard to get new technologies incorporated into government bodies and entities. So I don't know if this guy got frustrated <laughs> that he wasn't able to bring cloud computing and virtualization technologies in as quickly as he wanted to, but in any case he has stepped down and he is going to be uh, moving on uh, to other responsibilities. But at any rate, uh, Kunja received the EMC Data Hero Visionary Award for his pioneering work in reforming how the U.S. government manages and uses IT got an award for it but he's stepping down so I tend to think that means he didn't get as much done as he wanted to okay now this is a little more recent June 25th I posted this uh, uh, 
actually today as I record this, it is June 25th, uh, so this is VMware acquiring Digital Fuel. Digital Fuel is a company that is a major player in the software as a service SaaS, S-A-A-S, software as a service market. And so uh, VMware said today we're announcing that Digital Fuel, the leader in IT business management SaaS solutions, has signed an agreement to be acquired by VMware, the leader in virtualization and cloud computing. Digital Fuel Solutions for IT financial management, vendor governance, and service level management combined with VMware's existing capabilities for managing the business of IT will enable customers to maximize the business value of IT services and deliver on the promise of the cloud. So, uh, it's kind of press release speak there, <laughs> but at any rate, uh, VMware has been acquiring a lot of different companies lately, a lot of different services and companies and uh, adding to their offerings. Uh, matter of fact, ThinApp was an acquired technology and that's doing very well. Uh, Zimbra was an open source project that they have acquired and are, are, uh, now Zimbra is the third largest email solution right behind Lotus Notes and then of course number one Microsoft Exchange. So they, they're doing some really interesting things with these technologies that they're purchasing. So it's going to be interesting to see where that goes. And then finally, we have a note here, VMware announces new VMware Ready program for VUE. Now this one is kind of hitting close to home for me. I posted this today as well, so it's fresh. Uh, VDI is a hot topic. A lot of people are talking about VDI, and VDI of course means virtual desktop infrastructure. And uh, we're looking at that where I work, and we're looking at uh, what is going to need to happen for that to come about. And so the same kind of thing here with VMware. VMware is concerned to make sure that their view platform is properly uh, scaled, properly done in a customer environment. And so they started this VMware Ready program for vendors. Uh, vendors, one comes to mind, for instance, that we deal with, Varro. Uh, they're working with VMware to make sure that their best practices are correct and up to snuff to make sure that the end customer does the right thing when it comes to their VDI initiative. And by the way, Varro does a great job with that. I, I can highly recommend Varro. Uh, thumbs up to you guys. Um, we've got them coming in to demo VMware View, Improvata, the single sign-on solution, several different technologies in our VDI and single sign-on efforts there at High Point Regional. So I'm looking forward to uh, some interesting and great discussions coming up about that. But I think it's interesting that VMware has announced this program because they are obviously very serious about making sure it is done right. And I've heard VMware say time and time and time again, get a partner to come in and help you set it up. Don't just try to do it on your own and, and take wild guesses at it get somebody that can help you. And so I, I'd encourage you to do that as well. I think that's wise, particularly on something as, as basic to the infrastructure as your desktop strategy. That's something people are going to be dealing with every single day. So you need to get it done right. Okay, so uh, we're going to hopefully in the near future have um, some folks from Varro that will come on to this particular netcast and we'll be able to talk to them, interview them about things of this nature and I think it's going to be some good days ahead. So stay tuned for that and remember until then keep your head in the cloud.